بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو انادر ویڈیو آن اوریکل کلاوڈ اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کور اباؤٹ ایم ایف اے ملٹی فیکٹر اتھینٹیکیشن واٹ اٹ از ہاؤ اٹ ورکس اینڈ واٹ اف یو لاس یور فون سو یو ڈونٹ ہیو ایکسیس ٹو یور فون وچ واز کنفگر ٹو الاؤ یور لاگ ان ایکسیس سو ویل ڈسکس اباؤٹ دیٹ دس چیلنج بیکاز نارملی اسپیشلی وین یو آر ہیونگ آلویز فری اکاؤنٹ Uh, you will have challenge if you lost your phone because it is enabled on uh, always free account as well right so always free account and last phone while bypass code not available so we will be discussing about bypass code because this is an alternate uh, method to get access to your account right okay let's proceed and first we will be seeing uh, that there is oracle mobile authenticator app you will be downloading from uh, your app store so in my case i have android so i have uh, downloaded it and uh, first you need to configure it with your uh, account so once you will uh, add your account uh, and your uh, mfa is not configured on in your cloud so it will give you a barcode qr code so that you will scan in this app on your mobile using your mobile and then your account will be linked with your cloud account right so your app and cloud account will be linked so this is the application uh, in my android uh, store so this is oracle mobile authenticator this you need to install on your mobile phone so once you will log in on your uh, oracle cloud a notification will be sent to your mobile phone and if you will allow then you will be able to uh, proceed with your login so until you will not click this allow you will not be able to log in right okay <clears throat> so once you will log in this uh, prompt will wait for your login and it says oracle cloud, uh, cloud service a notification has been sent to this i have just uh, shown showed you that uh, notification as well open the notification and allow to continue show all drivers right very simple so you will uh, click on allow and you will be uh, having access now the challenge is here if it is working it will work no problem once you configured every time it will ask you to allow and you will get access but what if your mobile is no more there with you and you were not able to reconfigure your access uh, of your cloud account or your uh, mobile app on your new phone because so sometime it can damage or it can be stolen or anything can happen with your mobile phone on which your mfa was configured now here there are two dimension one is your paid account i mean if you have paid uh, cloud account then still it's okay because my, you might have administrator you can request your administrator to get back your access uh, or you can create an sr so if you see here these are different methods so if you are in a company or corporate account and you have the cloud account and if you for i mean you lost your mobile phone you can get access back uh, through administrator or you can create an sr or administrator can create an sr whatever you can uh, you will have the access because uh support oracle support access you might have so you can create sr if you have the access to create an sr otherwise administrator and there is another way alternate method to get get access so this is what is there so let's say for example uh, if i am here and i don't have this mobile phone with me now due to any reason so i can't proceed right so if you will click on the alternate method you will get these two options even in alternate if you see here alternate mobile app use a passcode that is generated by the authenticator so one way is you will allow click otherwise otherwise it will also display a number a digit few digits four or five digit number you can type that one but since you don't have mobile phone so how it will uh, happen so this these all options are not there now there is a bypass code use a bypass code now who can generate this bypass code for you it is you when you will 
configure this account you can generate and you can keep with you as an alternate uh, access or your administrator can generate a bypass code for you now here is another challenge if you are having always free account because oracle is providing uh, always free account for the cloud uh, you on autonomous and you are using let's say for example our autonomous database oracle apex and whatever and you are not having access to your uh, cloud account so now bypass in this case you don't have access and you will be suggested if you will chat with oracle uh, uh, cloud support team online they will say uh, you can go to community portals or uh, sorry community uh, uh, community forums and you can get some answer from there because earlier there was a link when they were sharing that link you were able to you know uh, access this account but they are having problem in their always free uh, cloud they are not having uh, any alternate or anything for the always free accounts if bypass code is not there and mfa is not working so let me show you the way i did because i was struggling with oracle support uh, especially online for the free account and i sent couple of emails and i was discussing with them because there was some challenge and i was not getting the access so let me uh, show you on the screens a little bit because here it was just a screenshot if you are still having some interest so you can go through the demo as well okay right so if you see here i have uh, cloud so let me open it again let's say i'm saying cloud.oracle.com and i click it so this is my uh, account account name and i will click it's also called tenancy and when i click it next and sign in okay so password was given it was it got authenticated now it is asking that you use mobile your phone your mobile phone and uh, allow it so now i just uh, got a uh, message on my mobile app and now i'm clicking on allow i have clicked it and now it will proceed with the access right wow good now uh, the best thing is when you have access right you uh, must uh, go to let's say for example my profile and here there is a security right so on security this the first one will be your recovery email but if you have mfa then this recovery is not enough it is just for the password reset otherwise your mfa or bypass code will not come on this email right so if you see here i have mobile app configured default and two step verification is there the first one is my username and password and second one is this mobile app so it's uh, mfa two factor authentication double factor authentication right or you can say multi factor uh, now if you see here by default there are five i think uh, uh, bypass code so you can come here and see if i have uh, i have generated one right so four are still there so i have generated one and it says remaining user and you can use it for once it's a, a digits and you can use it for once and if you see here in my case there is no expiry date yeah so you can keep it with you and in case your mfa is not working due to your mobile some problem crash whatever then you can use this bypass code but if you don't have you have not kept when your account was accessible then you will not be able to have it right because uh, it's not there they don't have any option to regenerate because this is you need it to be uh, there when you have the access or your administrator can give you uh, or generate this bypass code on your behalf so in always free account you are the administrator you are the single user so you will not have this options or uh, opportunity right so this challenge is there and now if 
I will share this link. I have uh, noted down few uh, bypass code steps. So let me show you. This is for normal single user. I have just shown uh, in my case, right? Bypass code works can only be used once. The user should generate a new pass code, bypass code, and store it for future use, right? And let me show you the second that this is for administrators. You are cloud administrators, right? This one. So they can go to the users and then they can, you know, generate bypass code for the users. But in uh, always free, you will not have this option. So for what to do with the always free accounts? For always free accounts, the way I did, I had uh, another account which was paid account uh, for the Oracle Cloud. OCI. In that, I created one SR to the Oracle support and I requested them that this is my tenancy, this is my account, so please reset it. What they did, they reset it my account. Once they reset it my account, then I, I mean like they removed uh, MFA settings or configuration which was there. So, they asked me to just log in and it will ask you to reconfigure your MFA and you can just uh, uh, reconfigure. So, this you have to do. Although Oracle support has promised with me that they are working on this issue because uh, many users are uh, facing this challenge and if you will go to the community, their community, their Oracle support team will reply you that you convert or uh, get converted your free account to paid account then you will have the access, access to the account. So, be careful for this otherwise you will have to pay to get access to your free account. Right. So, this is how uh, bypass codes are there and MFA works. So, be careful for this and for this, these links I will share with you uh, the link or URL of uh, my portal. This is my portal erpstuff.com and you can find different uh, topics uh, on different you know areas. Uh, just uh, let me go here. There are different uh, categories you can. So, here there is a cloud account here even you can see how you can create free accounts oracle free account right uh, different options are there different uh, topics are there okay so i think i have uh, explained uh, how mfa works are in case you lost your mobile phone what kind of challenges you might face and how to get your account back right please share your comments uh, under the video and if still you have any question, please do let me know. Thank you very much and Allah Hafiz.